welcome back guys in this video i'll be trying out dragon age the veil card on boostroid and geforce now cloud game streaming services we'll be playing the game on my xiaomi pad 6 android platform in case you don't already know nvidia will be limiting geforce now's playtime at 100 hours per month starting from 1st january 2025 this playtime limit is even applicable to ultimate tier many geforce now users have expressed their anger on social media Boostroid is trying to capitalize on the situation. They have reduced the pricing of their ultra plans. Offer is valid until 1st December 2024. A monthly subscription of their ultra plan costs around 9.89 euros. Without discount, it costs around 14.89 euros. The annual subscription costs around 89.89 euros. That's roughly around 7.49 euros. You'll be able to stream games at up to 4K resolution, 120 FPS, access to FSR free generation not DLSS frame generation specification of their rigs CPU AMD EPIC Zen 4 based architecture 28GB of DDR5 RAM GPU Radeon RX 7900 XT 20GB VRAM first I'll be running the game on GeForce now we'll be using their free Europe based server I am from India so there will be some input delay Proton VPN is running in the background connected to Netherlands region show you the stream settings first Max bitrate auto resolution 1920 by 1200 pixels. In order to unlock the quad HD resolution option, need to purchase the paid tier. Frame rate 60. There's Dragon Age. Need to own the Steam version of the game in order to play it using GeForce Now. Play. As I'm using the free tier, there will be a waiting queue. Finally, we are in. There's the game. I'll just enable the statistics. Tap on the three dots. Statistics on. 150 milliseconds game and stream FPS server location EU Northeast. I'll just disconnect from the VPN connected to Netherlands. Disconnect shooters will get compiled at startup in game settings resolution 1920 by 1200 pixels frame rate uncapped vsync disabled. This game does support DLSS frame generation of sample method. I'll just select DLSS. Only reflex enable helps in reducing the latency. <laughs> you can enable reflex on the free tier. Graphic setting everything is set to low free tier for you. Quickly scroll down, you can see the estimated VRAM usage here 4.7 GB. No access to ray tracing settings. This server may have a GTX based GPU. I have seen some servers with GTX 1060 GPU motion blur off. I load the Elven Ruins area. We are in. Here FPS is a bit variable 47 to 57. Free tier server for you. Input response. Input delay is manageable. 146 milliseconds latency. I was expecting the input delay to be much worse than this show you some combat data consumption here is around 4 megabyte per second it's a very high quality stream see the image quality so sharp demons will be spawning at the entrance of the temple it's right above me get to the temple current objective 50 fps observing some texture pop in issue it's a weak server there's the temple demons yeah <laughs> very average performance can use my companion's abilities adrenaline rush Audio is crackling as well. If you want better performance, just subscribe to their paid tier. As simple as that. Now I'll be testing the game on Boostroid. Unfortunately, Boostroid still does not have any servers in Asia. They have their servers in US and Europe regions only. Search for Whale Guard. 
need to own the steam version of the game in order to play it using boost right install and play searching for the nearest data center they ran an advert test for me measured bandwidth 59 megabits per second latency 148 milliseconds there will be some input delay enable the overlay tap on this icon stream and decode fps sign to my steam account i'll just scan the qr code location of the server hamburg we are in tap on accept game should start automatically the shaders got compiled in two seconds in game display settings resolution 2560 by 1600 pixels refresh at 120 hertz vsync off this game received an update recently added support for xcss version 1.3 upscaler it's way better than fsr upscaler i'll just select xcss no access to tlss using its quality preset i'll run the game with maxed out settings ray tracing on render scale 100 percent dynamic resolution scaling disabled graphics preset it's ultra with ray tracing on It will be interesting to see how the game runs on booster server now. Ray tracing on. Ultra ray tracing. I'll use disable motion blur. Off. Load the scene sequence. Elven ruins. We are in. Using boosters German eBay server from India and look at that latency value. It's all over the place, ranging from 180 to 300 milliseconds. Input delay. No disable latency. No audio crackling issue. Server's performance is very impressive. 57 to 60 FPS. Just to remind you again, this is the game running with maxed out settings even ray tracing is enabled you get the idea how powerful the server is game is not stuttering it's just that latency is on the higher side no servers in asia boost right only has servers in eu and us regions multiple europe based countries Drop the box. Image quality is decent, but it's noticeably shorter than the quality of GeForce Now stream. Data consumption here is around 1 megabyte per second. When I was using GeForce Now, the data consumption was around 4 megabytes per second. <laughs> that creature went flying. <laughs> I kicked it, fell off the bridge. It was hilarious. I'll do it again. Oh my god. So excellent performance. 57 to 60 FPS even during combat. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.